Hey guys, this is Jaden from iGailbreak.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a cool little trick that actually combines an app that's available inside the App Store with a winterboard theme that allows you to create custom lock screen themes. So there's tons of lock screen themes available in Cydia, but the only downside is there's only a handful or so that are actually worth the installation. And because lock screen themes are hard to edit if you're not uh, tech savvy, uh, a lot of times it turns a lot of people off theming completely. But uh, with this little neat trick here, you can actually create your own lock screen themes, which will appeal to a lot of people. So before we, we get into uh, actually creating the lock screen themes here, uh, I will walk you guys through that. You're going to need to install a few things. So from the App Store, you're actually going to have to purchase an app, unfortunately. It's called Clock Builder. It's available for 99 cents. And again, that's in the App Store, not the Cydia Store. So you need to download that. As you can see here, Clock Builder, that's Clock Builder's icon. You're also going to need to go into Cydia. And you're going to need to install uh, a few tweaks. So you're going to need to install Lock Screen Clock Hide. You don't necessarily need to install this, but it's good to have because when you're modifying the lock screen, a lot of times the default clock gets in the way. So if you want to have a default clock, you don't necessarily have to install this, but as it can be enabled and disabled on the fly, I do recommend installing that. You're also going to have to, of course, install Winterboard. So Winterboard, Winterboard sorry, is a free theming extension made by Sarek, the creator of Cydia. So you guys will have to download that. You'll also have to install a special theme called Clock Builder 5, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here it is, Clock Builder 5 theme. So you guys are gonna have to install that as well. Now, once you install all uh, those three, three city of tweaks or city of packages, you're going to need to go into Winterboard and activate the Clock Builder 5 theme before you start making lock screen themes. So once you enable that respring, uh, you're good to go. So what we can do is we can go inside Clock Builder, and I'll just kind of give you guys a quick rundown of how it works. So as you can see here, I've made a really quick uh, theme. It doesn't take advantage of hardly any of the features that Clock Builder actually comes with. I'm gonna leave most of the features for you guys to discover yourselves. But essentially to get started, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into a list, and you can start adding items to your lock screen theme. So when you go to the list, you want to press the plus button in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, you have some options here. So we can select a date and time elements that we can add to the clock screen. We can select weather elements, which I haven't been able to get to work yet because for some reason it keeps saying my uh, current location cannot be found. Uh, I'm sure after some more playing around, that'll, that will work. Um, then you can also add custom text, which is how I did the iglbreak.com label. Anyways, um, I already have some added, and as you can see, once you add, you can rearrange the elements by simply tapping the line lines on the side. So the elements that you do add, you can customize them further by tapping on them, and as you can see, it brings up a little column in the left side, which allows you to adjust things like uh, the size of that element, uh, the color, so uh, that's the font, which is neat, and then we can adjust, uh, I think this is the uppercase, lowercase default, um, then we got the color. So as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of customization options. You can drag to move it anywhere you want and all that fun stuff. And if you go into the settings panel here, there's even more. You can adjust the background, either a solid color or an image from your camera roll. You can change some of the weather settings, change the lock screen settings. So you can actually change the lock screen slider. Again, for some reason, I haven't been able to get this to work either, but uh, it might just be incompatibility with uh, some of the tweaks I have installed. But once you're happy with kind of how you've laid your lock screen out, what you're gonna have to do is you go into uh, this function right here, the share button, that is on other devices, uh, other elements of iOS, sorry. And you're gonna have to save the theme uh, or a new save if uh, you wanna create a new theme. And then once you save it, I've already saved it, but I'll do it again. It's actually going to appear here and you'll see if you had more themes, you could scroll down and you could select the different themes, re-edit re -edit them or delete them. And when you want to actually apply that theme to your lock screen, all you're going to do is click the set as lock screen button. And as you can see, my power off my lock screen just looks like just how I uh, edited it there in the clock builder app. 
So guys, this is a neat little trick. Uh, what's kind of cool about it, as I said before, is it combines an app that's actually inside the App Store. Uh, because this app's inside the App Store and possesses this functionality, uh, and as it's starting to pick up more mainstream publicity over the next coming days, it's it could be removed. So I check it out pretty quick if you guys are interested. But I mean, it has been around the App Store for a long time, so a Apple may just leave it. But who knows? It's hard to say what the fruit company does. Anyways, guys, this has been a hack combining the Clock Builder, Clock Builder 5 theme, Winter Board, and Lock Screen Hide. Make sure you check out iJailbreak.com for more uh, City Tweak reviews and tech news. Until that time, let us know what you think of that. Trick in the comment section below.